Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to schedule restarts in Windows 10. In this demo, we'll be learning how to open schedule restarts option in Windows 10 and some restart options. And I'm going to go uh, through those options right now. Um, what you can do is uh, once you have the restart schedule option, you can skip specific time range. Let's say that uh, uh, the off hours and on hours we always have in different organization or uh, when you're working and you don't want your uh, computer to restart in a specific time, you can basically specify that that uh, um, your computer will never restart, should never restart between uh, that specific time uh, if any update requires restart of your computer and you can also choose the dates that what dates you don't want your computer to restart just because of uh, uh, the updates and those uh, settings has to be done um, and I'll show you how and again it's a uh, much more control when your PC can restart instead of short notice that I mentioned uh, in previous versions uh, there are, there is a limitation of scheduling restarts in Windows 10 one is that uh, uh, you can only schedule you can't schedule ahead of time you can only schedule when uh, there is a down uh, a update that you downloaded and it requires restart uh, again this uh, uh, also setting needs to be done that it should pop uh, a notification for you that uh, you can go ahead and uh, schedule the restart of your PC because there is an update on your personal computer or uh, laptop that uh, in Windows 10 that it needs uh, a restart in order to implement correctly so you have much more control again and we'll be looking at different settings of Windows updates and security so let's go ahead and find how we can do that here's my PC and I'm gonna close this and uh, to share with you that how you could do that there are a couple easy ways to do it one is yet that you can uh, click on start button go to settings and you will see up here in settings um, called update and security if you click on that you will get the same option so let's go ahead and find an easy way rather than doing this we will ask uh, uh, a katana to take us there or you can just type it here uh, Windows updates and if you type that it will show you that Windows updates setting if you click on that it will take you to the same screen you don't have to click on start settings and then you will see the settings of the system and then uh, click on update and security if you just ask uh, Cartana she will take you right where you want it to be so uh, let's go ahead and take a look on advanced option uh, up here if you wanted to check the updates right now in, on your Windows 10 you can click on check for updates and it will download the updates but let's take a look on uh, advanced options before we do that click on advanced option first of all that choose how updates are installed notify to schedule restart this needs to be set if you have automatic recommended then it's not going to notify you to uh, uh, restart your uh, to, uh, to schedule your restart so this up here needs to be notified to schedule restarts and then we have other options give me updates for other Microsoft products when updating the Windows if you check that it's gonna give you a lot of updates such as Microsoft's uh, um, office and other Microsoft products and when uh, 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 defer uh, uh, upgrades right here you have an option to do that um, up here if you wanted to look at the view uh, your update history what's already installed on your uh, Windows 10 you can click on that and it'll uh, give you all the history what's been installed and if you click let's go ahead and click that these updates in my uh, personal computer has been installed you can go ahead and choose and uh, uninstall the updates if any update that is on your PC is causing an issue with your any application you can go ahead and uh, uninstall that particular application so let's go uh, particular updates let's go back and click on choose how updates are going to deliver let's go ahead and take a look uh, updates from more than one place so right here get updates from Microsoft and get updates from and send updates to PC on my local network if you just wanted to have um, uh, you know updates apply to the any personal computer that is running Windows uh, 10 and you want those uh, folks that who are using Windows 10 and they are using your wireless or local network you want them uh, you want this to um, uh, apply to your local network it will pop a uh, um, notification for them as well that uh, there are updates involved 
so uh, PC on my local network and PC on the internet so um, any PC that's uh, connected uh, still I'm, I'm, I'm not sure about this uh, local network and PCs on internet um, but I'm um, uh, basically this should be just on your local network whether it's uh, your organizational network or your local network and um, perhaps what they meant PC on internet is that if you go to public places it should pop up uh, that as well but you can turn on and off I just wanted to show you different settings so let's go back up here is get insider builds this is to help Microsoft improve if you wanted to take part and give them feedback you can get started right here again uh, the limitation right here for me as well that uh, there isn't any update that requires restart so I cannot show you uh, exactly that how to um, schedule your restarts in Windows 10 but uh, let me go back just to cover um, that it's much easier just like any other scheduler it will ask you that uh, what time or range that you want uh, your uh, even the notification you can control whether that um, uh, what what time is going to be so you can give a time range that uh, and during the business hours my computer should never uh, uh, restart if it's update related restart and you can skip some dates again and uh, control that way um, I might put another video uh, and uh, attach with this video if I get an update that requires restart and how to exactly do the schedule it's much easier believe me uh, once you get the notification you can go ahead and select the dates time range uh, that's all so I hope this uh, little demo helps